Charlie Cook's Favorite Book by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cozy chair and read his favorite book. About a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. As last, at last he found the treasure chest and in it was a book. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting on our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed and what's more, she's got my favourite book. About Sir Percy Pilking Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight who told the dragon, Wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook. As he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book about Ravina Redlot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library which stood beside the brook and went read it, read it, read it as she, as she jumped upon a book. About oak tree full of birds. Each bird had built a nest and they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to, an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, mum, what I've just seen. But mum said, Hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung and him, him into prison where he read his favourite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try and find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and there he grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. About the world's biggest birthday cake the world have, had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious that a fam famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. About a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying a head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady hook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book about a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook.